be a cop in Texas, now a convict about to eat free breakfast for the first time in prison. Yeah, real nice. There's another one. That's a real nice buck. We got right back here to the end of this road. And Logan was like, hey, that looks like a buck. There was two nice bucks, and one of them was really nice. Pretty exciting. Those bucks are right between two of the best bedding areas that we found last year. We know this area has a lot of bucks in it. The basically two big habitat types kind of come together in this little saddle of the valley in front of us where this road kind of parks and that just is a looking at it at a bigger scale that valley really connects a lot it just is connecting two big marshes and there's a lot of bucks around here so that's pretty exciting those are I mean they're both shooter bucks I would say but the one was one you don't even think about so I can dig that buck Aaron Warbritton here with you folks and today we're fixing to go out and do a little bit of scouting. It's a hot one today. Hoping the bucks are going to be moving so hope y'all are fixing to stick with us. <laughs> These things are awful. <laughs> <laughs> This is gonna be the game-changing strategy for tomorrow. Got the fanny pack here. We got this right little pocket here, right-hand side. That's gonna be real effective for this milkweed here. So I'm just gonna take a healthy amount. We're just gonna stuff it right in that right-hand pocket. We're just hunting along, bow in the left hand. Okay, you release. Of course, you didn't forget that. It's all right there, right on your right hand. The wind's still good, we're gonna keep going. It's gonna be a killer morning tomorrow. We're gonna to be fully prepared. Yeah, we're excited. It's going to be a good time. Got the milkweed, got the pack full, got all the gear ready, set out early. I'm going to have to try to go to sleep. It's probably not going to work real well, but I'm going to try. Catch you in the morning. bird hunter just pushed a couple does right up on top of the hill. So we're gonna try to get up to those cedars. Once we start getting real close to those cedars, we're gonna go really, really slow. So this morning, we were up on this hill, right here. We went down across the marsh, snuck all the way to the cedar that I'm standing in about five feet up because that's where we last saw that buck. We got here and there was no buck but there was some beds and I was checking them out and I was kind of making a plan of how to hunt this in the future and I decided to climb up in this tree. Logan's still on the ground. I left my bow on the ground and I looked right out here and the spike that was with that buck earlier was right there walking towards us. Like glass down there and that bigger buck stood up at 22 yards and my bow's on the ground Logan was right there, and then he got a little spooky, bounded, and the other buck bounded off with him right into there. We're gonna be back here hunting though, that's for dang sure. All right, it's morning two, and we're going back to the same area that we were at yesterday. Really like that spot because we've seen a lot of bucks there. Pretty much every time we've been in there last year and this year there's been a lot of deer and most of the time there's some bucks so we kind of have a similar plan as we did yesterday spot one and then move in on it we also feel like this is a place that these deer escape to when the bird hunters come in we know there's lots of people accessing these roads around this marsh hopefully with the pressure around a lot of the deer have run in there
it's a Matthews too. Looks like about the era of the switchback. The bow is a popular bow. That's what I had before I used glasses. Just trying to figure them out. Well, we're not the only ones out here. It's us, the bird hunters, and these two guys. I don't know if they're gonna do some sort of drive or not. They were just doing some weird hand motions up there on top of the hill, and they're now splitting up. It's gonna be interesting to see what they do here, and interesting to see what runs away from it. Those guys being where they are and coming from where they are, at least makes me feel like there's probably a good chance that the deer are getting pushed even further back in there. There's a spot that's about two miles away from the access, and there's really only one way into it. I doubt many people are going back there. No public land, you're gonna deal with stuff like this, and the deer can easily escape from bedding areas and run a long way. I think sometimes you just gotta go for it and put the work in to get way back in there. I've been contemplating it a lot now that these guys are walking around. It's making me feel like there's a, probably a pretty good chance that the deer are getting just pushed further and further back in there. Between us, the bird hunters, these guys, there's probably a pretty good chance they're starting to get pushed deeper into the cover. So we might just have to take our strategy deeper because we sure didn't see much this morning. There's gonna be a lot of walking ahead for us. Didn't see many guys hunting last year, but it seems like there's quite a bit on this weekend, but it's also Memorial Day weekend. Labor Day. Labor Day. <laughs> I know what time of the year it is. What do you think? I think that spot over there, I'm that's probably the best spot. Yeah. It's a good one. It's a good one. Yeah. Definitely want to keep that one under wraps. The whole piece of public. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even that is good. It's hard keeping all these spots a secret. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be incredible. <laughs> What should we do here? Um, let's see if they figure it out. Oh, you made it. I figured it out. We found this new piece of public while well, looking at some aerial maps this morning and it looks really good from what we can tell. Zach's gonna go talk to this farmer here quick because he's out here in this field. Just to double check that this is in fact a public road that we can access this public piece on. If this is a public road, I think we're gonna have ourselves a little honey hole. Well, I just talked to Billy there and he actually lives right there and he watches this place all the time. And he said nobody's been back in here. He says there's roads that go all the way through the middle of it. And he kind of told me a little bit about the piece. He said that it can be really good right up here by the road, kind of right at the access point. We just pulled in here at the edge of it and it looks really good from just sitting in the truck. The habitat's good and it doesn't look like anybody's pulled in here. So don't be afraid to try to look at something new in the middle of the day if you're on a trip. Just cruise around, check out these spots. I mean, we've been doing it since we got here at the spots that we know, but apparently we should have been doing it at other spots because we might have not wasted as much time getting in here and just starting to learn this piece. It's pretty cool looking at it on the map here. It goes for several miles back in there, so a lot of potential here. We'll probably just drive a little bit down the road here and just see what kind of pressure this place gets. Try to pick it apart a little bit on the road, and then we'll try to get in there and kind of still hunt and see what we see. We just hopped out of the car. We're at this pull-off and that guy I just talked to, Billy, he said that he came back here a couple days ago and drove through this spot. And his tracks are the only ones back here. Nobody's parked here. Nobody's got out. There's no boot tracks. There's deer tracks right in the parking lot. There's even a deer trail through the parking lot right here. The truck's right there. And that's literally pulling right into the piece of public. Everything that way looks good. There's actually bedding right here. And that guy said that pretty close to the road can be really good here. I think we might have found an overlooked spot. Finding an overlooked spot last year is what got us that buck, so... I'm feeling pretty good about this spot. I think we'll be hunting here more than once. I think what we're going to do is go drive through it, and then we'll just see what we think looks the best and come back and park and hunt it. Dude, there's some big trails through there. 
I don't know if that's cattle or if that's deer. If that's deer, like, it's gonna be crazy. I mean, I can see a buck bedding right here. I know. There's so much sign, dude. There's turkey tracks right there. Oh, there's a white-tailed deer right there. I'm not kidding you. Stop. Oh, son of a gun. Dope. Where's the camera? Where's the camera? Right there. Right there. No, I mean she ran, but keep just keep cruising here. Hey, right, stop, 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 stop! There's another deer right there. That might be a rat. Okay, get your bind nose and get on, get on there. Buck, 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 buck. Decent one. Yep. He's involved right. there. Stop. Okay, just let's get out of here. Yeah, you might even oh run. yeah. Right. We're making a total scene here. We try to get out of here as fast as possible. Just kick her in four and get out. <laughs> Just get up on the ground a little bit. All right, we're gonna get right on top of that thing. Did we just, oh, buck, huge buck. What? Huge buck. Holy. Oh my God, oh dude. Oh my God. What? Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Oh Holy God. cow! Dude. We gotta we gotta figure out where we're at on a map here. I, we, I think we gotta swing in around him. I do too, but I think we need to go all the way to the pull off so it doesn't sound. I mean, what in the <laughs> heck is going on, dude? I mean, dude, we just saw two big bucks at six o'clock. I think we might have spooked. I think they're betting right there, though. Yeah. We gotta hunt him. Yeah. I mean, we know he's right there. I mean, we gotta hunt him. All right, we're going back in after these bucks that we jumped. There's two shooters in here at least. And this habitat is just crazy. This is by far the best looking stuff we've seen since we've been here. I mean, there's sign coming through everything through here. We're gonna try to just ease down this road. It's a sand road. So we're just gonna ease down this glass and we got the ghillies on already. We don't feel like those deer were that spooked. You saw that one buck jump up and that was one of four deer that jumped up, two bucks, two does. And there's just enough terrain here that we think we're gonna be able to work around these deer really easily. I'm extremely excited about this spot. I think we got a really good chance at killing a deer here, if not today, in the next few days. I think we found the hole. Deer are probably just up there two, two, three hundred yards, right on the edge of those cedars. I'm gonna probably just try to peek over and look. I mean, I hate to wait, you know, you know they're in there today. Let's go for it. Here's my theory, the wind's coming this way. If they're gonna leave and go out to the field, you'd think they'd kind of follow the wind. They'd feel safe going that way, that just off wind. If we can circle down in there and they're cutting back, we can, I mean, I think we might even be able to get down to here where I originally talked about. Yeah. I mean, we know there's bucks in there. I think we just gotta try that. It's kind of my, it was kind of my gut thing, you know.
leaving now. Logan's running back. I got a spot picked out down here that I just looked at that will be right on the transition line of where those deer were. It should be short enough for us to shoot there and we should have like a 20-yard shot at the most. It's gonna be tough. We don't have a lot of time. We got about an hour and 20 minutes till legal's over. We're gonna try to loop around here. I got a lot of confidence that if we can get there without spooking anything that we're gonna get a shot. If these deer are milling around at all down in here, we're gonna have a really good chance. But I think if we sit up here, we're too far. We're still 50 yards from that edge. We could get right up in that point, be 20 yards from it. That was fun. We got really, really close. We had a perfect wind the whole time coming this way. And I don't know if it's just swirling down in this bottom or what, but pretty wild. I mean, I think the whole strategy here is just hunting these deer with the, just that off wind. I mean, we tried to thread the needle tonight, but we didn't. If we could have just got a little bit more consistent this way, we'd have got a shot at that buck, no doubt. All he had to do was close 20 more yards and he'd have been right on the trail, right on the other side of the creek. Or he'd have crossed right here and we'd have got him. I think the big thing with this spot is, is just finding an area where they're feeding. You know, these deer are feeding down in here and bedding here. One of the bigger ones we've seen so far. Dang it. But, I mean, hey, that was fun, dude. I'm sweating my butt off like I'm torn up by mosquitoes. I got cactus all over me, but that's Nebraska hunting there. That's fun. Thanks for watching this video, guys. We had a blast this evening. Just got lucky on a whim, found an overlooked spot. Got aggressive on them, just tried to play that off wind. Got dang close. But we'll be back in here in the morning. There's bucks in here. There's at least two good ones. But we're going to try to slip out of the back here, and then we'll be back in the morning. I'm ready to get out of here, but we gotta be, we gotta be real quiet.